Meanwhile, around London still, they're still looking for a new manager, aren't they? Uh, these are managers that have been linked to Spurs. Nagelsmann, no. Ten Hag, no. Brendan Rodgers, no. Pochettino, no. Conte, no. Fonseca, no. And of course, I was just chatting yesterday with my good friend Alessandro Del Piero about the possibility of Gattuso going to Spurs. That, over the last few hours, uh, has been poo-pooed as well. So who's left? Well, the bookies are still trying to hang on to anything. Uh, Lopetegui is a new name that has caught the eye, Roberto Martinez. Our boy Jurgen is still very much in the running. Rafa Benitez, heavily linked, of course, to Everton. Uh, Conte still there, Graham Potter as well. Uh, Jules, blooming egg. Who would have thought we'd have got this much mileage over who would be the next Spurs manager? Just incredible, Dan. 60 days since they, last, since they sacked Jose Mourinho, and yet, what, two weeks before the start of the preseason? and they don't have a manager. And it's not so much that they don't have one. They have no idea. They're not even close <laughs> of appointing anyone. Everybody that they tried, whether it was tried really hard or making contact or having a chat or whatever, it all failed for different reasons, financially, in terms of, you know, in terms of ambitions, in terms of whether that manager was available or not. But all those names have, have, have fallen through. And it's just, what do you do next? I think Stevie's phone can be ringing soon because there's a point where they're going to run out of even wow. people to call. You know, maybe Don Hutchinson, who's never been a coach in his whole life. Wow. Maybe he's got a chance. Who knows? I don't know. Nadem, I'm not so sure Absolutely because not. he's still too young. But hey, the door is open for anyone. It's just, I find it unbelievable that, in that they are in this position. I can't believe you're in the same context as Don when it comes to the next manager position, Stevie. I'm flattered. Oh. You could talk about rotational. What was what was going on? So where is Don exactly? Uh, Don, <laughs> no, Don, Don's got to be bottom of the barrel. It's a isn't it? mess, isn't it? Yeah, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. It wouldn't surprise me if they went for Rafa. Evertonians have made their feelings known that they do not want him at Everton. Um, so you look down that list there. Why no... would Spurs fans want Rafa? Because Rafa would want Spurs. No, but yes, well, lots of people want Spurs, but what is Rafa going to bring? <laughs> He's going to have to bring something. He's a manager for a start. He Spurs fans Daniel Levy him. wants fast attacking football. Does They're he? not the Does he? Does he? That's, he? that's what he, he says. What? Does what? he? That's what he's come out and said. Without Kane? Without the majority of good players? Without any money to spend? I'm, dreaming, isn't he? But if you're dreaming, then you bring in Rafa. Well, then go and get Graham Potter then. Right, okay. Because Graham Potter's the man. Right. Is it Scotty Parker? Scotty Parker might be the answer. I don't know. I mean, they're going down a list now where it's getting embarrassing, as Jules said. All the big names are just saying, nope, not for me. Brendan Rodgers would, would be my first choice. Yeah, but not gonna leave, he's not going to leave less No, than absolutely that, not. No, he's got a better project going on there. Yeah. So they're in a mess, and the more managers that turn them down, they look a little bit more desperate. Why do you think they're turning them down? Because I think they see the bigger picture. I think they see a picture at Tottenham where you go without Harry Kane. So that's have, the thing Harry Kane directed. Have, have we, well, and that was coupled with hardly any money to spend. What's the chances, even if they had Harry Kane, let's just say a new manager came in like Jose did, convinced him to stay for one more year, can Tottenham get top four? Mm. Unlikely. So you lose Harry Kane, you lose 30 goals a season. What's the chances? It's nearly zilch. So managers are looking at the bigger picture thinking, I've got no money to spend. One of the best strikers in the world is just about to leave. You're going to have to pay me serious amounts of money. And Spurs are saying no. And that's why people like Antonio Conte are just walking away from the job. Well, the whole... Listen, the side needs revamped. Harry Kane goes. They absolutely need a, a new back four. I mean, Yoris is sort of slowly but surely, season after season, losing out a little bit. Now, to do that, you need money. And if Levy's not going to give anybody coming in money then why would anybody with any sort of reputation take it? Mm. That's basically where they are. And as a player at the moment, you wouldn't sign for them because you've got no idea who the manager's going to be. Right. I've seen, I've seen uh, Marcus Turan from Gladbach get linked with Tottenham Hotspur. He's not a Harry Kane. He's a million miles off Harry Kane. But if you're trying to semi-attract some players and you're on the phone to agents thinking, what players can we bring in when we lose Harry Kane? As I said, they haven't even got a manager. They've got no starting point. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.